students we are now in part 2 session in this session i am going to continue the exercise 3.1 from the third question onwards students if you see in part 1 we have learned about the introduction of algebra isn't it in that what are the concept we have learned we have learned about what is constant what is variable what is like term what is unlike term and what is coefficient everything we have learned isn't it and also we have learned about what types of algebraic expression we have learned isn't it types of algebraic expression how many types we are having four types we are having which is monomial binomial trinomial and polynomial monomial means how many term it will have only one term binomial means how many term it will have two terms trinomial means how many term it will have three terms polynomial means it has having two or more algebraic terms in a polynomial which is more than three we will be saying it as what polynomial clear students and also we have learned about multiplication of algebraic expression we have learned isn't it in that like sign and unlike sign i have taught you isn't it now we will continue the exercise 3.1 from third question clear students here also we are going to learn the multiplication of algebraic expression only okay multiplication the sense monomial into monomial or else monomial into binomial or else monomial into trinomial everything we are going to learn in the part 2 session here students see the third question if l is equal to 4pq square comma breadth is equal to minus 3p square q height is equal to h is equal to 2 P Q Q Q they have given they have given what is L what is B and what is H okay they are asking to find what L into B into H that answer they are asking okay all the three terms separately we have to multiply clear students all of you now L into B into H is equal to length they have given us 4 P Q square into breadth they have given minus 3p square q into height is 2pq q cube they have given okay now before start multiplying first you see the sign okay since you are beginner you have to write the sign for the first term i am having positive so i am writing positive into for the second term i am having the sign negative into for the third term I'm having positive sign okay so after writing the sign we just go for the numbers okay what numbers you are having here 4 so 4 into 3 into 2 we have to write okay and then we have to go for variables okay here how many variables we are having p and q so first we all multiply all the p variable then we multiply all the q variable clear so p into p square into p cube i have written into in separate bracket q square into q into q cube that you have to write separately in one bracket okay since you are beginner you have to follow the instruction okay only then if it come the big term also you can easy for you to solve here now as i told you before itself unlike sign and as well as like sign i told you now if you see here plus minus what sign unlike sign if unlike sign comes itself you have to put immediately minus okay then no need to see this again you know you are going to get unlike sign only so i am writing here minus now 4 into 3 into 2 4 3s are 12 12 2s are 24 so 24 p in the power of p add everything 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 then similarly q 2 plus 3 1 is 3 1 3 plus 3 is 6 so q power 6 so l into b into h answer is 
minus 24 p power 6 q power 6 that is the answer clear all of you clear yes next i am going to do the fourth question in the third subdivision i have done the first and second subdivision you are going to do as homework i will do third and fourth subdivision in the class work here now see here 3m and is what it is a monomial okay now m cube n cube minus 5m square n plus 7m n square these how many terms we are having three terms then it is what what then it is what it is a trinomial so we are going to multiply monomial into trinomial okay when you are multiplying monomial into trinomial First, you take each monomial to each separate separate term. So, you first draw the arrow diagram like this. So, that will be very clear. First, we have to take 3mn into for first term. And as well as 3mn for the second term. And as well as 3mn we have to multiply for the third, three third term. Clear? See how I have written equal to answer 3mn into m cube n cube minus 3mn into 5m square n plus 3mn into 7m n square. Clear? After writing, see here any number is there for this? No number, which means 1 is there. So 3 into 1, m I am separately multiplying and n I am doing the separately multiplication. Clear? Students, if you are following this step, you will not get, you will not do any mistake. If you are straightly multiplying means you will do surely the mistake. Okay, since you are beginner you follow the steps. M into M cube into N into N cube. Here in between minus sign so minus 3 into 5. Okay, the number I am having here is 3 into 5 into here what number M into M square into N into N plus 3 into 7 m into m into n into n square. Clear all of you? If you don't have power, in the power we have to put 1, 1 you have to put. If you don't have the power means we have to put what? 1, 1 like that you have to put in the power. See students, 3 into 1 is what? 3 I have written. Here m power 1, here m power 3. So power we can add and we can write 1m. Isn't it? They are the same. The power can be added. So m power 4 into here also n power 1, n cube. So n power 4 minus 3 5s are what? 15. m power 1 plus 2 is what? 3. So minus 15 m cube into n n power 1 plus 1 is what square n square okay then 3 sevens are what 21 then m power 1 m power 1 is m square then 1 plus 2 is n cube so that is the answer clear students all of you how to expand students in exercise 3.1 fourth question we will see now fourth subdivision Okay, now see the question x square into x plus y plus z plus y square into x plus y plus z plus z square into x minus y minus z. Student, this is monomial. This is what three term we are having I mean, it is just what trinomial. So now we are going to multiply monomial into trinomial. Okay. First, you write the question. I am going to start the solution. I have written the question. After writing the question, you just put the arrow mark. So, it will be easy for you. Which means, x square into x. x square into y. x square into z. Okay. Similarly, here, y square into x. y square into y. y square into z. Okay. Then here, z square into x z square into y, z square into z. If you write arrow mark, then it will be easy for you to write it easily. Here, see first arrow mark we have written from x square to x. So, write x square in bracket x. Plus, 
Next arrow mark is x square into y plus x square into z. Okay. Plus now we have finished this and we are moving for this. So y square into x. Y square into x. Then y square into y. Then y square into z. Plus then z square into x. Then now here if you see everywhere we are having plus. So no problem we faced. Now if you see there we are having minus. Whenever we are having minus what we have to do means see here plus into minus is what what unlike sign isn't it. So we have to put minus z square into y. Then plus into minus minus z square into z. Clear students all of you how we have written then the next step if you see x square and I mean x power nothing is there so which means what we have to put x power 1 so x square into x power 1 if you add the power we will get q so 2 bases 1 base you have to write x clear then x square into y both are and term so we cannot be able to do multiply multiplication anything so you write x square y itself plus here also x square is it whether you will be able to multiply we cannot do anything so you write x square into z plus y square into x y square into x means what x into y square both are same only okay next y square into y power 1 if you add the power we will get y cube okay then y square into z z y square okay plus z square into x x z square here minus y z square minus z square into z power 1 means what z power 1 if you add the power 2 plus 1 is 3 ok students that, that's all we have multiplied everything now in the next step what I have done means see first I am writing all the cube terms ok see I have put tick no that are the three terms which I am having in the cube. So first I am writing x cube, then I am writing plus y cube, then I am having here one cube, cube term which is what minus z cube. So x cube plus y cube minus z cube. Then remaining what x square y, then x square z, then x y square, y square z, then x z square, then y z square. Everything we have to write remaining. Okay, first I am arranging in the order of the power. 3 power I am arranging, then I am arranging in the order of 2. Clear all of you? Are we clear about the fourth subdivision? Yes. Now we will move for the fifth question, third subdivision. Okay, now see the question m square minus n into 5 into m square n square minus n square. Students, tell me now, m square minus n means it is what type of polynomial? It is a binomial. Two terms we are having, isn't it? It is binomial. Similarly, here it is what? 5 m square n square minus n square means it is what type? It is also binomial. Okay, so now we are going to multiply binomial into binomial. Clear students all of you? Yes, see first before starting what I have done there, I have multiplied the each term first. See, m square into 5 m square n square, m square into n square, then this n also you have to do, n into 5 m square n square, then again n into n square. Clear students all of you how I have done? Now, after multiplying, we have to take the term to each term. See, here m square into 5 m square n square. Then, in between I am taking m square into n square. Before n square, what sign I am having? Minus. So, put minus m square into n square. Okay, with this m square, we have multiplied this two terms, isn't it? Now, we have to go for n. Clear? So, for n, what sign we are having? Minus n. 
So minus n into 5m square n square. See here minus n into 5m square n square. Okay. Then for next term. Minus n into minus. Minus into minus. It will become what? Plus. Here all of you minus here. I am taking minus n into minus n square. Means minus minus it will become plus. So n into n square. Here all of you. Here, now if you see here, before n square, I don't have any number. Assume that n are having here, there, 1. Okay, if you are not writing also, no problem. Anyhow, we are going to get the 5 only. Okay, for a clear understanding, I am writing it. Just understand here, 1 is there. So, first we will multiply the numbers. Then we will multiply the like alphabets. Then only we will write the remainder, isn't it? So, according to that, I am going to write now. 1 into 5. Okay. M then. M square into M square. Into for this N square we don't have pair. So write just N square. Here then. M square into N square. That we cannot do anything. So I am just writing M square into N square. Clear students all of you how I am writing. Then next. Before N we don't have any number. So what we are assuming then. So, 1. 1 into 5 m square into n into n square. Clear? Plus n into n square. Clear all of you? Clear? Now, 1 5 are what? 5. Here m square. Here also m square. So, base or same. So, write 1 m and we have to add the power. 2 plus 2 is what? 4. Then into n square. Here minus m square into n square. Minus 1 5 is 5. Here m square. Here n. 2 n we are having. If the base are same, we have to write 1 n and we have to add the power. 1 plus 2 is 3. Here again plus. Here also the base are same. So write 1 n and we have to add the power. 1 plus 2 is 3. Clear students all of you how we have done this problem? Clear? Yes like this only you have to do monomial into binomial or binomial into binomial. Like this type only you have to do the multiplication. Clear? Students. Fifth question we'll see now. In fifth question, fourth subdivision. See the question 3 into x minus 5 into 2 into x minus 1. Here 3 is a what? It is a monomial. X minus 5 is what? It is a binomial. So we are going to multiply monomial into binomial. Similarly in between, again into monomial into binomial. Because we are adding here two terms. Clear students? Now we will start the solution. See the question 3x minus 5 into 2x minus 1 we are having. Isn't it? So what I am going to do means 3 into x. I am just multiplying 3 into x and then I am see 3 into x then between minus sign. So minus 3 into 5. Here, here in between into sign that into I have written. Similarly, 2 into x in between what sign? Minus sign. So, minus 2 into 1. Here, like that you have to do. Clear students all of you. Now, tell me 3 into x means what answer? 3x. 3 fives are what? 15. Into 2 into x means what? 2x. 2 ones are what? 2. Clear all of you? 3x minus 15 into 2x minus 2. Now if you see the question we have got what? Binomial. 2 terms into binomial. Now we are going to multiply binomial into binomial. Clear? So now 3x here into 2x. Then the same 3x you have to take to the next term. 3x before that what sign we are having here for 2? 
minus. So write that minus in the friend itself. Okay. If you see for this 2x, we don't have sign. Which means here we are having plus. Clear? So 3x into 2. Clear? Now this 3x we have multiplied for the both the term. Next we have to take now 15. Clear? Minus 15 we have to take it inside. Now for 15 we are having minus. Isn't it? So minus 15 into 2x. Again 15 you have to multiply for this 2 also. So now if you see here minus into minus. Minus into minus it will become what? Plus. So 15 into 2. Students you have to be careful in the plus and minus. If you are having both are like sign means you just put plus. Okay. If both are minus sign means you have to put that time also plus. If both one is positive and another one is negative means compulsory you have to put minus. Clear? So, what we are having here in number I am going to multiply first. 3 into 2. X into X. Minus 3 into 2. Into X. Clear? Minus 15 into 2 into X. Now, 15 into 2 is what? 30. Clear? So, 3 2 is what? 6. X power 1. Here also X power 1. Nothing is there means you put 1 1. Okay? Here the bases are same. Write 1 X and add the power. 1 plus 1 is what? 2 X square. Minus 3 2 is what? 6 into X. Minus 15 into 2 is what? 30 into X. So, 30 X. Plus 30. That last plus 30. That term I have written here. Next step. 6 X square minus minus here minus 6 X minus 30 X. Both are what? Like term. So, if both are here also X, here also X. If both are like term, we can add and subtract. Okay. Now, if you see before 6, what sign we are having? Minus sign. Before 30, what sign we are having? Minus sign. See that sign? Minus minus means we can add. So, 30 plus 6 is 36. Minus minus means what? If we are adding. After adding, we have to see the greater number. Which is greater number? 30 or 6? 30. So, for that what sign we are having? Minus. So, write minus 36. Here students, so I am writing there minus 36x. Students, most of you what you will do the distance, uh, mis mistake means you will write minus 36. But you will write here x square. That is very very wrong. Okay, we are not multiplying here. We are just adding. So when we are adding, we have to write here x means you have to write only 1x. One clear all of you? Clear? Yes. Now we have got from that minus 36x. Clear? Then the last term is what? Plus 30. That we have to write here. Clear? So the answer is what? 6x squared minus 36x plus 30 is the answer. Clear students, all of you, the fifth question, fourth subdivision. Sixth question, find the missing term. If you see in your book, they have given dash. In between 6xy into dash, they have given. We have to find what value will come in that dash. Clear students, see first the question is, first subdivision question is 6xy into dash is equal to minus 12x cube y. That is the question. We have to get minus 12x cube y. But here we are having just only 6. So you have to think in 6 table what number you multiply you will get 12. 6 2's are 12. So I am writing here 2. Clear? Then I need a x cube into y. But I am having here x only. Why I am having? So no need to put y itself. Because here I am having 1y. Here also I am having 1y. But x cube I am having. But I am having here x only. Still how many x I need? 
x square I need. Isn't it? So, I am writing x square. Clear? Students, if you see in the question, we are having minus. Isn't it? Minus. But here we are having full term is positive. But then surely then the dash only we have to put minus. Only then we will get in the answer minus. Clear? See, I have written again. Now I am multiplying. Whether I am getting the same answer, we will check now. Okay, now 6xy into here into minus 2x square here will come. So 2x square is equal to here before 6 what sign plus. So before 2 what sign minus. So plus into minus is what minus. Number I am multiplying first 6 into 2. Then I am multiplying the variables. Here x, here x square. x into x square into y. Now if you see plus into minus is minus. 6 twos are 12. x into x square is x cube. y I am writing. Clear? So what I have to write in the dash? Minus 2 x square I have to write in the dash. Clear students all of you? Now see the second subdivision. In the second subdivision we have given the answer as 45. Okay, 45 m cube, m cube, p square they have given. And in the, in the left hand side they have given minus 15 m square, n cube, p they have given. Okay, first you don't need to see the variable. First see the constant 15 and 45 you see that. Okay, you see that in 15 table how many times 45 will come? Yes. We will get 3 times. So, 15 3s are 45. Clear students all of you? See, I am writing here 3. Okay. Now, we have finished about the constant. Then, we will go for the variable. Here, m square. Here, m cube. Still, 1 m we need. Isn't it? So, I am writing here m. Here, n cube. Here, also n cube. So, no n term we need. So, I am not written any n. Here, here P, here P square in answer. But I need one, I am having only one P here. Still I need one P. So I am writing P. Clear? Now in the final, here in the question I am having minus. But in the final answer I am having it in the plus. So which means here also I have to put minus. Only like sign it will make the answer positive. Clear? So now what answer I have written? I will do the product now and I will show you now. See minus 3 into minus 15 into variable I multiply m into m square into n cube into p into p. So 3 into 15 is what? 45. m square here no power means what? 1. So m cube n cube here also no power means what 1 1 so p into p is p square so in the dash what we have to write here minus 3 m p that is the answer clear students all of you friends in this exercise 3.1 this is the last 8 question see the question a car moves at a uniform speed of x plus 30 km per hour Okay, what they were saying, a car moves at a speed, a car moving speed they have given. Find the distance, we have to find the distance covered by the car in y plus 2 hours. Students, in the book they have given the int which is distance equal to speed into time. In physics you have learned this formula, isn't it? Distance equal to speed into time you have learned. Okay, in the book itself they have given the int. So, based on the int we have to solve the problem. Okay, so far we have seen monomial into binomial, binomial into monomial like that. We have directly, we have given the question. But here in the eighth question we have given the question in the statement form. So, don't think that it is very difficult. It is very very simple only. Clear? What is given in the question? Speed of the car. They have given us x plus 30 km per hour. Then time. How much time it has taken? Y plus 2 hours. 
and in the book they have given the int is for distance covered equal to speed into time this is the int they have given in your question okay now we know what is speed x plus 30 into what is time y plus 2 okay if you are not writing into in the middle also it is understood that it is into is there okay now what this is x plus 30 is what binomial y plus 2 is what binomial we are going to multiply binomial into binomial so first what i told you have to put the arrow mark this x you have to multiply for the both the term similarly this 30 you have to multiply for the both the term clear so x into y plus x into 2 plus 30 into y plus 30 into 2 clear students so x into y means what x y x into 2 means what 2 x 30 into y means what 30 y plus 30 into 2 means what 60 so therefore if you see here any like terms there here x y is there like that any x y terms there no so for each term we are not adding like term so we have to finish it this is our answer clear so write the last line therefore distance covered by the car is equal to x y plus 2 x plus 30 y plus 60 clear students all of you in the 8th question clear students with this i am completing the part 2 session clear in part 3 session we will start the next exercise which is exercise number 3.2 Clear students, students, all of you are now clear about multiplication of algebraic expression. Yes, with this exercise we will be completing the multiplication of algebraic expression. Okay, the next exercise we will be learn about division of algebraic expression. Clear students, clear, do the assignment neatly, maintain the classwork very neatly, that is very important. Clear? And be careful when you are multiplying the each term. Okay? You have to be very careful in the sign. That is very very important. Clear students? Thank you students.